What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Sabrina. For those of you that do not know, I do all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle here on my channel. If you are not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also go ahead and follow me on all my social medias which will be somewhere here on the screen, probably right here, and also down below link so that way it makes it easier for you guys to follow me but yeah today's video i'm actually really excited about because as you know we're in fall and it's officially november so thanksgiving is around the corner so i wanted to do like a series of makeup looks that basically include every single color of fall and my boyfriend was actually so sweet to come up with this name and i thought it was so clever it's gonna be called the shades of fall and i'm like that's cute you get it like the shades you know like the eye eyeshadow shades and I don't know he thought it was so clever and I did too so I was like you know what I'm gonna call it that so I'm gonna call it the uh, shades of fall and basically what the series is gonna be I'm gonna be posting videos leading up to Thanksgiving so that way if you guys are like me and very indecisive and don't know what kind of looks or look you want to do for Thanksgiving you have all my videos to reference back to I'm gonna do a maroon look a burnt orange look mustard yellow Maybe one that has all the, all the shades in it, a brown look. I want to try and do all those videos before Thanksgiving come, comes. And in each video, I'm going to try and do a different technique. So today's video is going to be maroon, of course, since I'm wearing maroon. And I'm going to do a half cut crease. And maybe in the next video, I'll do a full cut crease, halo eye. You guys get the point. But basically, well, the reason why I want to do that is so that way if like today, I'm doing a maroon half cut crease. Let's just say Thanksgiving comes and you're kind of feeling the more born, uh, burnt orange vibe, but you want to do a half cut crease. You can just watch whichever video and just apply the techniques that I'm going to be using in this video towards the color or the shades that you want to use for that day or vice versa, potato, potato, you guys get it. But that's basically what today's video and this series is going to be about. But I'm actually really excited and I know I'm jibber jabbering a lot. But um, yeah, and also in this video, I'm going to kind of do a little get to know me as well. I'm going to just talk to you guys about, you know, just myself and people. I ask people on Instagram to ask me questions. So I am going to be kind of um, asking, answering those. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm drinking a pina colada. So I feel like I'm like... <laughs> But um, I am going to be answering some of the questions that people on Instagram ask me. And also, if I'm like squinting, I don't have contacts on. And I clearly can't wear glasses because I'm doing makeup. But I don't have contacts on because I ran out of contacts. And I have an appointment tomorrow to get new contacts. But anyway, that's why if I'm like squinting or anything, that is why. Because I'm freaking blind. But yeah, let's go ahead and just get into this makeup look. Alright, so I went ahead and did one eye off camera. One, I filmed a little TikTok in between this and two, because I really wanted to know what kind of look I was going to be doing today. I knew I was going to do a maroon half cut crease, but I didn't know, you know, what shades I was going to use and whatnot. So I figured I would just do it this way so that way I can have an idea of what I'm doing for the video. So this is the look that I came up with. I actually really enjoy the way it came out. It gives me that cranberry that cranberry vibe i love it i am going to be using these palettes right here it is the jaclyn hill vault collection um i am going to be using three of the palettes out of the four i'm going to be using bling boss ring the alarm and armed and gorgeous i did use a couple of shades from each of these palettes so if you have these palettes you can recreate this look down to the t but yeah let's go ahead and just get started and while I go ahead and set this eye, I'm gonna kind of give you a little background about myself because I really haven't introduced myself too much here on YouTube. You know, if you have been, if you know me or have been following me for a while, you kind of know me, but not really. So I figured I would kind of give you a little introduction to who I am. So my name is Sabrina Chavez. I did pretty much grow up here in Houston. Um, but I was I was born in Corpus Christi. That is where I am from. Um, I moved here when I believe I was nine or ten, and I have been here ever since. Um, I love Houston. I consider Houston my home. But I am from the one and only Corpus Christi. Yes, where Selena Quintanilla 
originated and um, believe me I love her I love cumbia I love everything there is you know about corpus but probably would never ever move back I do still have a lot of family that lives there my dad's side lives there and um, I love to go over there and visit but I would probably never ever move back um, I am 20 20 years old I wish I was 20 years old I'm 23 years old and I am a Gemini I was born in June the best month there is of course I'm just kidding I love every every sign but I am a Gemini and for my eye I am just using the light beige elf camo concealer um, I'm using this to set my eyelids and I'm just using a real techniques a full concealer brush and I'm just using that to set my eyelids so that way I can go in with a blank canvas to um, apply the eyeshadow I'm trying to think of what else I can kind of tell you about myself um, I do have two full blood brothers and one full blood sister the reason why I say that is because I do have I, um, I do have some half sisters and half brothers um, my other my other half siblings do live in Corpus and my you know siblings full blood siblings do live here with me in Houston we did all move over here um, you know with my mom back in the day whenever she brought us out here and till this day I tell my mom all the time like of course we didn't hate her but we hated the fact that she moved us out here because I mean we loved Corpus it's all we knew and my sister and brother mainly hated it me of course I hated it at, like at first but I mean I was young so I wasn't really like I guess you could say missing out on anything um, but I thank my mom every day that she brought us out here because I just feel like us moving out here was the biggest like blessing in disguise that could have ever happened to us like I don't think we would be where we are today and I'm not just saying this for myself I'm saying this like for my brother and my sister and my parents I don't think we would be where we are today if we didn't move out here so I thank her all the time even though we disliked her in the time being <laughs> for moving us out here I'm so glad she did because I love Houston and I will never ever 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 leave Houston I'm a true Houstonian now okay Houston till I die okay so let's go ahead and get into the eye look I'm gonna be using the bling boss palette first and this is what it looks like I'm gonna be going in with the shade mystic first mixed with a little bit of sparkle which are the two corner shades up right here and I'm gonna be using this brush that I don't know where in the hell I got it from it's just one of those brushes it's just you know laying there you don't know where you got it from but it looks like this but I'm just using like a really nice condensed packer brush and I'm gonna be using this to pack all around the crease because this is gonna be the darkest shade that we're gonna be using and that's how you get that really nice vibrant dark maroon shade and that is what's kind of like all over the crease and it is blended out so I'm gonna be using those two shades to create that color so as I'm doing this, I'll kind of talk to you talk to you guys about what I'm doing, but I'm also going to be answering some questions. And the most asked question is what got me into doing makeup. And so my mom actually always, you know, was into makeup. She was someone who did not leave the house. Till this day, she's still like that. She will not leave the house without makeup. Um, I did originate, originally start doing makeup because of her. Another reason I got into makeup actually is my cousin Jenna. She's three years older than me and growing up, me and her were like inseparable. I'm like not kidding. Every weekend, like all the time we were together, she's my actually my god sister. Her, uh, her parents are my godparents. And we were inseparable and you know she's three years older than me so of course she got into all this makeup and stuff before I did but of course you know me being young and her being like my best friend and my sister I would see her play with makeup and I would see her watch actually Jaclyn Hill and she is the one that got me into watching Jaclyn Hill and ever since I discovered Jaclyn Hill I just fell in love with makeup I started buying makeup and collecting makeup all the time every chance I got I would ask my mom hey can you buy me this can you buy me that and of course she'd be like yes sometimes 
but most of the time she wouldn't, you know? And so whenever I got a job and I didn't have any bills to pay, shit, I started like buying makeup like crazy. And I just started doing makeup and now I love it. I actually find it so therapeutic. Like there's days where I have really bad days at work. I'll come home, put headphones in, sit down and just create a look. I just enjoy doing makeup even if this doesn't go anywhere and this doesn't turn into the career that I hope it will turn into, I don't do it for that. I honestly do it for myself. It helps me just get out of the funk that I'm in. And I know you've heard a lot of people say that, but it really is true. For me, it's art. It's very therapeutic and I just love doing it. So yeah, that's kind of how I got into makeup. And another question was, how did I get into doing YouTube? um so for that i always you know wanted to do youtube you know grow up growing up watching jaclyn hill watching you know karen loved their lifestyle i loved that they got to teach people how to do makeup for a career just imagine doing something you just love to do for fun but making it a career like to me that just sounds so amazing and i love to do makeup so i would love to one day create one day make this my career but um you know i just gotta keep pushing hopefully one day that happens but yeah and so my boyfriend was like why don't you just why don't you just do it just pick up the camera and just do it and me being the shy person that i was i'm like no i don't want to no i'm embarrassed um before i finish that i'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Morphe times Jaclyn Hill JH35 brush. It is a small blending brush. I'm gonna be using this. I'm not gonna be picking up any product yet and I'm just gonna blend it out as much as I can and then we'll go in and add some product afterwards. Like I was saying, I was like, no, I'm too shy. Like people are gonna make fun of me. You know, people aren't gonna like it. I just, I don't wanna do it, blah, blah, blah. And he literally was just like, who gives a shit? <laughs> who cares? Who cares if people laugh at you? Who cares if they don't like it? Who cares if it's something you want to do? Just who cares? Like just do it because it's something you love to do and something that it's something that is going to help other people that support you in the long run, which, you know, I feel like my videos sometimes help people, you know, like if you don't know how to do makeup, just come to my channel and I'll teach you. But yeah, so the reason I'm on YouTube and am trying to pursue, you know, influencing is because of him. Like, I think everything to him. Of course, you know, my, I guess you can say my talent is my, me, you know, I sat here for hours learning new techniques, learning how to blend, learning all that stuff. And of course, I'm not trying to like downplay my like, talent or skills or anything like that but as far as far as like actually pursuing it and actually trying to do it it is all because of him and that's actually another question is if i'm single no i'm not i have been with my boyfriend for going on seven years we'll be making seven years in january and i can't believe it's been this long it's it's just it's crazy to think that we've been together this long like in three more years we'll hit a decade like oh my god it's just it's just crazy to me but yeah that is why i am here on youtube and why i'm trying to pursue influencing um because of him so i thank him all the time and he is my rock and he is the person that is constantly pushing me and motivating me and just just helping me um but yeah so the next shade i'm gonna be picking up is sparkles and it's this one right here it is the one that i mixed with this shade over here but i'm gonna just be picking up sparkles on another jacqueline times morphe brush the 34 brush oh is that the same one i don't know this is the 35 brush this is the 34 brush and i'm gonna be just picking up that shade by itself and i'm gonna be blending that out with this brush so for people that are new here to my channel and want to know what my channel is going to be about i mean as as you can tell you can clearly see it's has a lot to do with makeup makeup talks and stuff like that and tutorials on makeup looks but my channel is also fashion related i have a couple of shein hauls and i want to do some like fall 
to uh, fall fashion looks as well. Um, so that's kind of what I want my channel to be about. And then I want it to be all positive vibes. Like, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say it. Like, you don't have to watch. You could just exit out. Like, of course, I want you to watch. But if you're just sitting here to critique me and criticize me and judge me, then just don't watch. Like, it literally, you're just, like, wasting your time. Like, why would you want to waste your own time that... You know, your time is precious, my time is precious. So you don't like somebody, just don't watch it. There's no need to hate on somebody, like why? I don't understand people. But um, that is what my channel is about. It is about makeup, fashion, lifestyle. I want everything here to be, you know, positive vibes and good energy and just happiness and love and you know, all, all good things, all good vibes here, okay? You want to eventually start branching out into doing vlogs, but I feel like I'll start doing that when I get a little bit more established and a little bit, you know, a little bit more, you know, subscribers and stuff like that, then I can start vlogging and just kind of taking you guys along with me in my crazy life and stuff like that, so. Yeah, that is mainly what my channel is about. So I'm gonna be picking up the same brush, but I'm gonna be grabbing a little bit of the shade Smooth Criminal from the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And this is what the shade looks like right here. It's kind of like this dark caramel color, and that's gonna be going on the outside of the look. It's gonna help me blend out the eyeshadow a little bit more. All right, so while we're doing that, next question is, do you hope to get famous one day? Um, like, yes, because I just, I don't know. I would love to be famous one day. Like, you know, I just, to me, it's like, a, it's like exciting. Everyone, not everyone wants to be famous. My boyfriend does not want to be famous. And I tell him all the time, like, hello, if I become famous, you're eventually going to become famous because everyone's going to want to know who I'm dating. But he's just not for it, at least not right now, but I'll convince him later. But yes, um, to answer the question, yes, I do want to become famous one day. Of course, I mean, this is why I'm doing YouTube and why I'm trying to do influencing on Instagram and, you know, like TikTok and stuff like that. Um, I'm actually kind of a little bit famous on TikTok. I mean, I have 16,000 followers and I would like to think that that's somewhat somewhat famous um but yes i would love to become famous one day and just hang out with all the people that seem so genuine and so cool and just like look like they have just so much fun together and those people are like alondra and elsie and i am calling it next year i will be best friends with karen she is just to me one of the best influencers. She is so genuine. She's so loving. She's hilarious. I love her and Sebas's relationship. It honestly reminds me of me and Rafa, uh, my boyfriend. Who knows, you know, these people that have been striving to become famous and become influencers woke up one morning and they were just there. They got where they wanted to be and they were just there. So hopefully one day that'll happen to me. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and um, now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease, which I'm gonna- The see. next shade I'm gonna be dipping into is this one right here, which is that really pretty cranberry shade, and it is the shade called Pizzazz, and it's really pretty. I mean, the name speaks for itself. It really is Pizzazz. So I'm gonna be picking that up with a Morphe 2149 brush, and I'm gonna be putting that all over the crease and creating that really pretty cranberry look. And then I'm going to be picking up a little bit of Mystic on the same brush and I'm going to be using that to blend Pizzazz and Mystic together just so that way there is no harsh lines. So I'm debating if I want to do liner. Should we do liner? Yeah, why not? What the hell? So I'm gonna be using the NYC liquid liner in extreme black and I'm gonna be doing a winged liner today cuz why not? All right, so I am gonna go ahead and apply my lashes off camera really quickly, but I wanted to show you the lashes I'm gonna be using today and these are the lashes 
that I'm using. They're super pretty, super dramatic, and I just love them. They are from the Lash Plug. I will leave their Instagram handle down below so that way if you want to purchase any of their lashes, you can. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply these off camera really quickly and I will be right back. All right, the lashes are applied. I swear what a difference lashes make in just every single look. But I am gonna be going on to the face portion of this video. I am gonna be answering a few more questions as well as I'm you know, working on the face because you have seen me do my face plenty of times here on my channel. So I'm gonna be kind of be focusing more on the questions rather than you know, like all the products and stuff. But I will link everything down below you know, just in case you guys want to purchase anything, but nothing is new. I'm not trying anything new. Everything I will be using on my face is products that I have used. Um, someone asked me what are some of the challenges um, I face doing, you know, social media and um, YouTube. And I would say some of the challenges I face is the anxiety portion of posting a video it's like so many people are going to be watching your videos and criticizing you and just judging you basically um you know not all of them are going to be there to say negative things to you but i honestly think that is one of my biggest challenges um, I'm one of those people who don't care what people think, but at the same time, I am human. So I feel like that was one of the main challenges, the biggest challenge I faced, faced and am still facing is obviously caring what people think. And of course, I don't care to the extent to where like I would ever like comment back to them and be like, oh, we might talk crap. But of course, everyone cares. You know, we're human. We have emotions and feelings and stuff. So. I feel like that is one of the biggest challenges that I still face here posting like on YouTube and posting like on Instagram and you know TikTok and stuff you know because no one wants to be laughed at or made fun of you know not everyone is gonna like you no matter what you do in this life not every single person out there is gonna like you and that's just something we all have to experience and learn for ourselves and I feel like that is what gets me through you know people not liking me or whatnot. But I am gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation and I am in the shade, I always forget the shade I'm in. Warm Beige, I think? Oh, Golden Beige. I'm in the shade Golden Beige, which is 460. And I'm just gonna be applying this as foundation, nothing new, gonna be using the Morphe M4 Four six brush to apply this to my face. Um, the next question is, a lot of people actually ask me this is what I use to shoot my content for Instagram and I literally just use my iPhone <laughs> um, I don't use any special camera or anything I do use the what camera is this oh I do use the Canon SX 740 HS and it's a mouthful that is the camera I use to film on YouTube but I don't use it to take pictures or anything because I just feel like it's not I mean, it's a nice camera, but I just feel like my quality is way better on my iPhone to take pictures rather than, you know, using this camera. So I just honestly just use my iPhone to take my pictures. And of course, I edit them a little bit to make the lighting and everything to, you know, the to my liking and whatnot. But other than that, I don't I don't use any special kind of camera. Um, I do have this little Bluetooth little clicker thing that I use to um, take photos, I have made the mistake before of it being in my hand while I'm taking the photo, you can see it, but whatever, it is what it is, I'm still learning. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's pretty much what I use to shoot my content. Other than that, I don't use anything you know, too special. I do have a stand that I use and um, you know, hook my phone up to, so that way it's you know it stands upright but other than that I don't use anything special other than that little Bluetooth clicker but I actually found an app that you can use rather than that clicker and it's just as good so if you don't want to spend money on that clicker use this app called lens buddy and you literally can set it to how many pictures you want and between how many seconds you want so if you want it to be taking every three seconds or every one second however you want to set it up you just click the little thing down 
and you can set your thing to however you want it and you'll just literally click this and it's a timer and every second or however long you set it it takes pictures for you and it just keeps taking pictures and it loads and loads and loads and it automatically goes to your camera roll so let me go to my camera roll and kind of show you sorry this is like a sidetrack but see it uploads all the pictures to your camera so if you don't want to spend money on that bluetooth clicker like i did you really don't have to you can just download that app which is called lens buddy and it takes the pictures for you so yeah is anybody else loving this eyeshadow look like i swear this just gives me such vampy vibes vampire vibes vampire diaries vibes don't you wish that they did dramatic eyeshadow like this in vampire diaries i really wish they did they really don't but they should have so next i'm gonna be moving on to a bronzer i'm gonna be bronzing up the face with the of course sun kissed bronzer by um physicians formula and it is the butter bronzer i'll be picking up the morphe r10 brush and applying this all over the cheeks who is your biggest inspiration my biggest inspiration would be my beautiful mother she has just been the best mom that I could ever ask for. And my mom is my biggest inspiration. She took care of us um, just so well. We had, you know, my mom wasn't the richest mom out there, of course. You know, we didn't grow up, we didn't grow up, you know, super rich and wealthy. Um, but if I wanted it, I got it. And even if my mom didn't have the means to do so, she worked her ass off to get us what we wanted. And she just, I don't know, she had us all at a very young age. So she had to work so hard to give her children what they wanted and what they needed. And she was that mom that if she had ten dollars to her name and we went to the store and i asked her for something she would use her last ten dollars on us rather than on herself and she's just my biggest inspiration she is the pers person that made me who i am and made me want to strive for so much more in this life because i want to give her everything that she gave us and more i want to just be able to one day buy her a car and spoil her the way she spoiled us even though she didn't have the resources and stuff like that to do so but she she made it happen you know and I just love my mom so much but um, yeah she's the person who made me who I am today she you know wanted this life for us and everything she's wanted for us we have you know we've gotten you know like I wanted to buy my own house at a very young age something that she wasn't able to do because she had us and you know we learned from her and she's just and she's my like biggest supporter anything I do there she is cheering me on all my TikToks, all my YouTube videos, all my Instagram posts, she like posts them everywhere and she's just like my biggest fan and I love her so much for that and I don't know, I just love my mommy so much and she is my biggest inspiration. She is the person that I am working so hard to, of course my dad too, I love my dad, if my dad is watching this, I didn't forget about you, you know, I love you too but you know. My mom is just my mom, you know, like no one's ever going to replace your mom. And the highlighter I'm going to be using today is the Champagne Highlighter and the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighters. These highlighters actually have been my favorites lately. I feel like it just glides on like glass. It just looks really nice and subtle, nothing too extreme. I haven't been wanting to do that really big pop of highlighter lately, so I just feel like it gives you that perfect like glass highlighter look nope. all right and so we cannot have a vampy eyeshadow without a vampy lip we just we need to we need to so for lipstick today i'm going to be using the live glam kiss me 
lipstick in the shade Gangsta Rapper, spelt W-R-A-P-P-R. -P -P I think this was like a Christmas collection um, lipstick, so I think that's kind of cute and clever. So I'm going to be using this, and it is, of course, a vampy maroon shade. I do not have a lip liner this color, so I'm going to just go grab like a brown or something and just use it as a lip liner. All right, guys, I'm back. I actually found a maroon lip liner. It's the Wet n Wild lip liner in the shade Don't Be a Prune, which is perfect. It's like the same, almost the same color, maybe a little bit darker, which is even better. So you can kind of get that like ombre effect. All right, and then I'll be going in with the lip stick. And I want this lip to look a little bit more matte. So I'm going to be picking up a little bit of my translucent powder on just a, you know, older brush that I don't really use too often. And I'll be putting a little bit of that over top of this to make it a little bit more matte. I swear I love this look. It looks so good, so vampy. It's just... Everything is such a freaking vibe, such a mood. Um, but for the last question that was asked is, where do I see myself in five years? And honestly, where I see myself in five years, I made it as an influencer and I made it here on YouTube. I have one kiddo and I am already married and honestly, I'm working on my next house. I love my house and everything about my house, but I don't see this as my forever home. I do want to build my house from the ground up with my husband or boyfriend now, but my husband hopefully then. Um, but yeah, I, that's where I kind of see myself in five years. I see myself. But yeah, that was the last question of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this getting to know me type of video. If you have any more questions, make sure you drop them down below and let me know. I will happily answer any more questions you have for me. Thank you guys so much for, you know, coming back and watching my tutorials. If you are not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so that way you get notified every single time I upload. And I'm really excited to be releasing this first ever series for fall. I'm really excited. The Shades of Fall is going to be such a fun time. I'm going to be creating so many different looks and so many different styles and all that. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching me and listening to me ramble on about my life and just you getting to know me. But yeah, thank you guys again so much. I will see you next time.